For more on the turmoil in Iraq, the threat of ISIS or ISIL, I'm joined here in the studio by Todd Ruffner. He's a Middle East analyst and works at the Project on Middle East Dem Democracy. Todd, thank you for being with Thanks us for today. Me. Um, so let's begin with President Obama's remarks a short time ago. He actually admitted that his administration does not have a strategy in combating ISIS or ISIL. Was that a smart move? I think it was may maybe a bit of a, a little bit too honest. I think probably what he meant to say was that they're developing their response. There's there's obviously a, a, a very complex situation over in Iraq right now, and they're they're trying to figure out all the moving parts. And and once they do, I think they'll be a little more confident in speaking about that strategy. But I do think there's still a bit of uncertainty right now within the administration. But at this point in the game, shouldn't there already be a strategy on how to deal with ISIS? terrorists who are brutal in their strategy. We've seen executions, we've seen public beheadings, we saw American journalist James Foley in that horrific way being killed and the killing being videotaped. So at this point, should there be a U.S. strategy and what should that U.S. strategy be? I, ideally, they would they would be able to articulate a, a little bit more of a clear strategy. I do think that things are changing on the ground pretty quickly, so uh, it, it's difficult for the administration to lay out, you know, one, two, three, four. This is exactly what we're going to do. I do think they have said some of the right things in, in sort of using military options in uh, in addition or in you know concurrently with political options, because as Obama said this afternoon, uh, all the military might in the world can only sort of forego these problems temporarily and and the political problems will sort of rise again. So the strategy uh, hopefully will become a little more clear here in the in the coming days. Let's talk about Syria. Obviously ISIS isn't just in Iraq. It actually started in Syria. Uh, would airstrikes in Syria, U.S. airstrikes in Syria be the solution? Uh, it depends on the solution to what problem. I, I mean, it, it certainly... Uh, it, it Stopping certainly, their advance, perhaps. Uh, it's, it's tough to say. I, I mean, I think that um, it's, it's part of the solution. I, I don't think that airstrikes in Syria or not will necessarily win or lose this, this particular conflict. I do think there's sort of, as I said, a lot of different aspects to this that, that need to be addressed, and, and most especially the political, the political side of things, I think, needs to be addressed. And, and they've shown at least some awareness that this is a, is a pri should be a priority and hopefully that'll continue to be the case. Speaking of the political side of the situation, let's go back to Iraq and talk about Iraq's new prime minister. Mm -hmm. How much of a challenge does he have in uh, bridging the gap, the sectarian divide between the Shiites, Sunnis and Kurds? And is that really the first step in combating terrorism and unifying the country? Uh, it's an absolutely enormous challenge, but it, it has to be his, his first priority. There's, there's really not, in my opinion, a way for Iraq to move forward and, and see any real semblance of you know, long-term stability without being able to be inclusive and bringing in all the different parties and all the different ethnicities and, and different you know, sort of religious interests. Uh, the Sunnis are, are very, very disenchanted with the political situation over there, and um, all the other parties are very suspicious of one another. So without you know, a, a pretty heroic effort by a body, I think uh, it's, it's going to be really challenging. And what about al-Maliki? How much of a, um, do you think his mistakes um, can be fixed? Uh, I, I'm generally an optimistic person, so I, I certainly hope that, that you know this isn't the death knell for for Iraq. I do think that, that he is he's done a lot of things that make it very difficult for Iraq to move forward, uh, both politically and economically and militarily, what have you. But I do think that there is a chance for reconciliation and and a chance to move forward and the country to to get on a better path. I think you're not alone. I think yeah. a lot of people are hoping the same thing. Thank you so much, sure. Todd Ruffner. Sure. Appreciate.